Hi everyone, Dr. Sonia Chobra here, and today's topic is an endo quick tip. And this is all about how to really understand your apex locator. Now, I previously wrote a blog about how to troubleshoot your apex locator, but I still keep getting questions about how to read your apex locator and when is the proper working length reached, okay? So I'm excited because I have this little simulator from Ultradent, it's for the endo ease find, and this is really just to help me kind of illustrate that, um, that apical extent that you need. So you know that from my previous blog, I have always talked about the point zero zero. 0, 0.0 is really where you want your instrumentation to stop, okay? And if you stop anything short of that, guess what? You're gonna be short, and for every millimeter that you're short in a tooth that has apical periodontitis, you're gonna decrease your success rate by 14%. So make sure that you don't take this location lightly and you really follow directions. So I'm gonna show this to you with this display here, this endo ease find because I love how it displays the actual number and I know exactly when I hit zero, zero. So I'm gonna hook it up and I'm gonna show you, we're gonna zoom into it and this is as if I'm in, um, attached to a file and I'm gonna go down and we're gonna listen to the sounds and we're gonna watch the numbers on the display right here and you're gonna know exactly when to stop. You can see it's at 1.25 and then one, and we're, we're approaching, and now it's 0.5 away from the apex, 0.25, and then 0, 0.0. That is your ideal location, that is your true working length. But then we can go a little bit further, and that's out of the apex, and that is actually where you're truly patent if you're about half a millimeter to a millimeter out, okay? And I like to be a little bit patient, but your ideal location, this is your proper working length. This is the point where you wanna take each one of your rotary files. So I hope that makes sense to you. 0, 0.0 is the perfect location to stop your instrumentation. So set your stoppers on your rotaries to that location and make sure you have a consistent reference point so that you can do your root canals efficiently. Hope that helps. See you in the next one.